inspirations of the different people that make up the org community? Tara na magkwentuhan! Kwentuhang MVP takes you to the vibrant and passionate organization community of the Ateneo de Manila. Tune in every Friday as we catch up with our student leaders and our organizations and find out how they're continually pushing forth with their advocacy. Kwentuhang MVP, taking the MVP to you. Hello mga hatiponeros. This is Father Ro Atilano SJ. Listen to our serving of stories that will inspire you and keep you going. Ayan, tara na! At lasapin ang masarap na tipla ng buhay. Welcome po kayo sa The Parable Cafe every Tuesdays at 3.30pm only here on Radio Katipunan 87.9. Oh, mahala sa iyo. I'm not afraid of the dark. 
Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Mga Katipuneros, Katipuneros, it's time to level up! Your talk variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan, 87.9 FM Level up! Live in all caps, ito po si Lenny Robredo sumusuporta sa ating minamahal na multi-awarded, multimedia guru, Noel Ferrer sa kanyang pagle-level up kaya at Ateneo, level up! Level up! Happy, happy, victorious third anniversary, Radyo Katipunan. And congratulations to my very good friend, Noel Ferrer of Level Up for all awards you have been receiving. It's such a great honor and privilege na mag-guest po sa inyong show last year. It was so much fun doing that interview considering that I was still grieving the loss of my mom and my beloved sister. It's really nice to talk to my good friend, kapatid na Noel Uh, it's always a pleasure. Please take care of yourself and uh, stay safe and healthy. Sa kahit na ano pong gagawin natin, kailangan po tayong mag-level up. Again, thank you very much. Thank you for your service. And God bless you more and more. anniversary sa Radio Katipunan at syempre, congratulations din kay Sir Noel ng Level Up. Thank you for always sharing the message of hope during these uncertain times and I pray that you will always be a source of inspiration for your community. Once again, congratulations and happy third anniversary. Voice of the Blue Eagle, Radio Katipunan 87.9 Hello, ako po si Joey De Leon at ako po ay bumabati sa Radyo Katipunan sa kanilang anibersaryo. Kung nabubuhay lang si Bonifacio, tiyak sasabihin niya, So good, mga kapatid. So good, lalo na ang palatuntunan ni Noel. 
na Level Up in English. Level Up in Tagalog, Kataas Taasang Radyo Katipunan. Congratulations! Tandaan nyo! Ang Radyo Katipunan, lalo na ang Level Up in Well. So good, mga kapatid! The Voice of the Blue Eagle, Radyo Katipunan 87.9 Sa Radyo Katipunan, happy third anniversary po sa inyo. Thank you for connecting us uh, with one another uh, during these difficult times. Uh, pati kay Sir Noel uh, ng Level Up, uh, congratulations din po sa inyo. Thank you for bringing to us stories of inspiration and stories of excellence. Ako po si Biko Soto na nagsasabing basta't sama-sama tayo, patuloy na umaagos ang pag-asa at patuloy tayong mag-level up. The Voice of the Blue Eagle, Radyo Katipunan 87.9 Congratulations for the third year anniversary of Level Up and congratulations, Noel, for all the awards and recognition you've been receiving for you and your program. And siempre, I'd like to thank you and to congratulate you for having the virtue of always speaking the truth and always standing for what is right and what is good. So again, congratulations at sana matagal na matagal pang yung programa at ang iyong kontribusyon sa ating industriya. Again, congratulations! Hi, Noel, my friend! Uh, congratulations on the success of your online show, Level Up! Uh, three years old na, and it continues to reap awards. So, friend, uh, continue to serve our people our industry, and our country. And uh, bilang kaibigan, kung may maitutulong ako, friend, I will always be here, okay? Just a text away. So please keep up the excellent work. Uh, pareho tayo ng uh, advokasya pagdating sa bakuna. Uh, meron lamang kung gusto ibigay na mensahe para sa ating mga kababayan. Okay? Mga kababayan, pagpabakuna na po tayong lahat. Ang vaccine po ay para po sa ating kaligtasan at hindi po ito dapat katakutan. Ililigtas po tayo nito sa pandemyang COVID-19. Kaya huwag na po tayong mag-atubili na magpabakuna. Do it for yourself, for your family, for your community and for our country. Kaya magparehistro na po kayo at siguraduhin po na magpabakuna. Malalagpasan din po natin ang pagsubok na ito. This is Congresswoman Ate V, and may God bless us all. Salamat. Hi Joey, this is Goma. I'd like to uh, congratulate you on your uh, 40th uh, anniversary no? for your uh, being a wonderful singer in this uh, beautiful country. And I would also like to uh, take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to use some of your songs in uh, our movies no isa pa lamang uh, yung isa is uh, sa lang oh yeah so beautiful songs no? so thank you so much and uh, when you come back hopefully medyo relax na dito and uh, we can watch your concert all the best to you bye Okay, all good already, all the best. With less than a month before Christmas, aside from asking kung handa na ba tayo sa Pasko, may isa pa kaming concern na December born. Paano naman kaming mga December born? Normally kasi napapa, nakakalimutan or napadadaanan lang ng mga tao yung mga Christmas. Ang dilemma, we're always caught in the flurry of the Christmas preparations and the crazy Christmas schedules. 
katulad ng mangyayari sa December 11, which is my birthday, the 4th Noel, which will be staged sa amphitheater mismo ng, ng Arete, which is a tradition already, we're taping and we're actually like... um. proclaiming or actually announcing the winners of the very first Level Up um, Christmas Songwriting Contest. So, dun malalaman among all the entries, we have 10 finalists already and we'll have music videos shown to you. We'll have three major awards and part of it, you'll partake of by sending your viewers' choice. So, makikita nyo sa Radyo Katipunan and all our other portals ng Arete at saka Jesscom, yung mga entries and you can just vote. So, and then by December 11, that is next week, no? Um, we will be announcing the winners. So, we have new Christmas songs to be performed. So, part of it, will be sung by this group led, led by Toma Kayabyab, the son of the national artist Ryan Kayabyab. And they have remade the song, Tuloy na Tuloy ang Pasko. Yun yung kanta ni Andre, Andre Dionisio na um, pinahiram sa amin. Tapos may re-lyric ni Toma mismo. Um, ever care to, 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 to hear what happened to that song? Uh, naging tuloy na tuloy ang pandemyang Pasko na siya. So, here is the song, at least patikim lang, ng mga bagong Christmas songs sa pwede nating pakinggan. This is not part of the competition, but this is the contribution of Debonair District to this Christmas season. Ito po, pakinggan natin ang tuloy na tuloy ang pandemyang Pasko. Hindi mo alam ang bakuna ibibigay ngayong pandemya ay pampahirap ng buhay. Meron pa kayang Caroling at Noche Buena kung bawat isa ay kulong sa bahay nila. May dahilan na ang muling pagtatago mo mula sa iyong inaanak sa araw ng Pasko. Ngunit kahit na anong mangyari, ang pag-ibig sana ay maghari. Sapat ng si Jesus ang kasamang mo, tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko. Mabuti pa nga ang Pasko, ilang taon na nga ba yun? Sa ating hapag magkasamang lumalamon ngayong quarantine. Back to normal, postpone ng postpone At ang sakit ay mauuwi sa trabaho Ngunit kahit na anong mangyari Ang pag-ibig sana ay maghari Sapat ng si Jesus ang kasama mo Tuloy na tuloy pa rin ang Pasko Samahan niyo na ako 
While waiting for our December born guests and that actually were celebrating their birthdays in advance. So this week sila actually or yung isa early next week. Um, I'll run by you some trivia on Christmas na medyo exciting, na medyo weird but true. No? So um, handa ako sa mga Christmas trivia kasi yan na di, nabuhay talaga ako dun sa, dun sa notion na Christmas should be every day. So did you know? That the pine needles on some Christmas trees are edible. No, nagpapakuya kim tayo. Yun palang mga pine needles na ginagamit for Christmas trees. Um, nakakain. Tapos isa rin, isang fact din, the, law, the world's longest Christmas list stretched um, 13,053 feet. And it took one hour and 40 minutes to be unrolled. So, totoo talaga yung mga Christmas list. So, well, when when you do your Christmas list now, I guess because pandemic, medyo, medyo trimmed down, no? Pero at mas essential. Yun ang pa- paulit-ulit yung word na essential. Pero totoo yun. Totoo yun. And then another trivia on Christmas. The Christmas song Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire was written during a summer heat wave. So how how ironic is that? No, parang you can actually come up with a really good Christmas too, na classic at that. Nang nang um nang isang heat wave, no may nangyaring heat wave. And um do you know also that a lot of our um local Christmas songs are really written during the summer, during Holy Week. Mayroong mga Christmas songs na nasulat during Holy Week kasi yan lang yung panahon ng mga composers para gumawa ng mga bagong kanta. Tapos no nilalabas yan by September so nire-record yan ina ayos nina arrange etc. So para by September 1 ready na siya for release. So normally kung dun sa production process ng mga tao yung pagsulat ng mga kanta um sinusulat yan uh, ng uh, Holy Week tapos Easter Sunday ang maganda diyan parang Easter Sunday is also Pasko Pasko ng pagkabuhay. That's we're just waiting for Christmas which is another Pasko Pasko naman ng uh, yun um birth the birth of our Christ. So, another trivia. In India, people decorate dito sa Pilipinas, no, iba't iba yung mga decorations natin, no. Pero sa India, ang decorations nila sa mga Christmas trees nila, um, ang kung pine trees yung sa iba, sa atin iba, ah, well, iba't ibang mga mga puno ang nilalagyan ng decorations. Sila kanila banana trees yung ano, yung um dinedecoratean. Tapos meron ding eggnog, kakaiba rin to, eggnog na na flavor ng 